Friendly footprint is spread over several acres and utilizes the latest in sustainable technology, ranging from recycled materials to rooftop solar panels. The project's design was personally overseen by entrepreneur and friend of the environment, Bobby Stone. Stone, you may recall, is the founder of Stone Television Network, one of the fastest rising new streaming services, as well as Stone Water, noteworthy for its natural brain enhancing qualities. Mr. Stone, may we have a word? Of course. First, congratulations. You must be very excited. Oh, I am. And so is my entire family. We just hope the fine people of Maywood Glen love Stone Acres as much as we do. You've become quite the local hero, not only for generously supplying stone water to the city of Maywood Glen as it enters its third and many say worst year of a drought, but also for making sure the construction of Stone Acres had a low environmental impact. Well, first off, I'm no hero. In fact, oh. I'd like you to meet Michaela McAllister who mobilized our supporting tomorrow's new engineer program. Uh, hello. You got this. Michaela, can you tell us about some of the programs you and the others have contributed? Uh, sure. Right this way. Uh, so this is Ember Evergreen and Bryden Bandwidth, and they've created, created Maywood Glen's very own vertical forest <laughs> by planting hundreds of plants and vegetation all over Stone Acres. We calculate that the plants will consume carbon dioxide and deliver between 75 and 100 kilograms of oxygen per day. And with my sick computerized controlled drip irrigation system, I mean sick like amazing, not sick like bleh, <laughs> we'll be able to minimize water use by 75 to 80 percent. We like to say drip is the new cool. We don't say that. We could. We won't. Welcome, agents, to the birding ceremony uh -huh. for Agent Maddie McAllister. <laughs> Please step forward. Today, our Innovate Sisterhood honors you from all over the world. Agent McAllister, you are being given this coveted award not only for the enormous heroism and sacrifice you showed going deep undercover and risking your life to bring down Craig and Vex, but for how you encompass all that the women of this organization represent. Intelligence, poise, and strength. From this day forward, you will be known as the Nighthawk. <laughs> Who among you would stand beside the Nighthawk as her witness? Congratulations. Agent Michaela McAllister, will you please step forward? Agent McAllister, you are being given this coveted award, not only for your unwavering devotion to and faith in your sister and fellow agent, and for risking your life to save hers, but for your wisdom and leadership. You really do define smart is the new cool. <laughs> From this day forward, you will be known as the owl. <laughs> yes. Who among you will stand beside the owl as her witness? <laughs> Congratulations. I am so proud of you. <laughs> if I had arms, I'd hug you too, Em! <laughs> For the sunrise, especially on our first week of summer vacay, I mean, does 5 a.m. even qualify as an actual time of day? It is awfully early, Chica.
And Brighton and I have so much to do at the cafe if I'm going to impress Olivia James. Guys, being an Innovate agent is a 24-7 job, especially when national, make that global, security is at stake. My case, uh, this case, has got to be solved. Michaela, I know you feel bad about what happened on your first case as the owl, and I feel bad for you. Samesies. I mean, almost getting yourself blown up has got to be, like, mind-blowing. Guys, I'm fine. But I am a little worried about Devin. It was a really close call. Things like that can shake up a new agent. Let me handle this. Devin! Oh, good. You're here. We got to talk. Look, last I know night last night was, was traumatic. Awesome. What? Uh... <laughs> Why don't you go first? Okay, so I knew when I became an agent, things might actually be fun, but my first explosion? Beyond mind-blowing. Called it. So nothing's been bothering you? I mean, were you able to sleep? Like a baby. When I woke up, I couldn't sit still. Oh, that's totally normal. I was so pumped, and since my art always centers me and calms me down, I had this like totally inspired idea. Check it out. Characters in my debut graphic novel. Michaela, the unicorn. Wow. Nice. Bryden, the mermaid. I love it. Ember, the woodland fairy. So awesome. Impressive. Adrian, the princess. Cool. I brought sweet. And Cameron, the dragon. I like Princess Adrian. Perfecto combination of sweet and spicy. Hey, you guys were my inspiration. I may even have a publisher in New York interested. Awesome. We may want to hold off on the happy thoughts. Kato's flash drive turned up something else in the nano prototype. And fair warning, it'll make your head spin. This MAT is awesome! The MAT, <laughs> multi-axis trainer, simulates a tumble spin. Our astronauts are able to practice regaining control of the spaceship if that were to happen. So, who's up next? Tessa? Um, I kind of have an issue with spinning machines. Translation, she's a barber. That might just be when she gets an eyeful of you, Zach. Ooh, arr. Don't sweat it, Tessa. Yeah, because the MAT doesn't spin more than twice in a row in the same direction, inner ear fluid doesn't shift very much. Meaning, no dizziness. All right, then let's do this. Just take a deep breath, Anne. <sighs> Looks like Professor Cato's research found a dark side to the nanotechnology prototype. Like, doomsday dark. See, even though nanotechnology can really benefit medicine and help to cure diseases, this prototype seems to have the ability to replicate. Like, nonstop. So it could multiply out of control, devour all organic matter, and cause mass destruction. I've read about this. Years ago, some scientists called it the Grey Goose scenario, where these microscopic robots would go unchecked and consume the entire biosphere. English, please. Put it this way. In social media, everyone shares viral memes. It starts with one post, then two people share it, then two of their friends share it, and it continuously grows exponentially. Two, four, eight, 16, 32, you get the math. Anyways, after a matter of hours, it's been shared a million times. These little guys are just like viral memes, except their friends devour everything in their path, turning life on Earth into mush. And if Kato's research gets into the wrong hands... It could be used as a weapon. Before we get too far into this end of the world talk, let's see if anyone else at Space Inc. knows about what Keto found. Starting with Dr. Crawford. Michaela. <laughs> what are you doing here? I came to see my friend get her award. Well, I'm glad to see you've come around. You can't stop me, so I try. Have a good time. Oh, we will. We definitely will. Hey! Good evening, everyone. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, hey, yeah, it's me. You're welcome. Okay, film, 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 film. Okay, yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the third annual Young Voices Award, sponsored by some uh, water company. I can't quite think of the name. Wait, it'll come to me. Give me a second here. Oh, yeah! 
stone water. <laughs> okay, yeah. Still getting paid, right? Cool, 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 cool. Let's get down to our first awards. This year's winner for best comedy clip goes to a man who splattered countless people. It's Jeff Black! Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Like, look, the rocket. Kyle, what a nice surprise. I really need to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, I know you, you said that, but uh, every time I try, it doesn't work out, so. I heard what you said at the masquerade dance. I mean, I didn't actually hear it, but I heard about it. If I hadn't already left and I had heard it, I would have told you. Oh. Hey, sorry, so sorry. It's, it's not you. It's not you. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> uh, I, I better find a towel or a hose. Next up, the winner of Breakout Voice of the Year, the new voice of Science and Cool, BF 